Okay, so this is the first video in a series in which I show you how to play every riff from Nas's 1994 album Illmatic, starting with New York State of Mind, produced by DJ Premier. Uh, if you just want to play the riff, I'll put a link below this video, which will take you to a free PDF of the score, which you can download. Uh, otherwise, I'll spend the rest of this video kind of deconstructing the riff a bit, explaining how it's put together. Uh, that's going to take a bit of harmonic analysis. You need to know your minor triads and sevenths and ninths. Otherwise, you'll get a bit lost in this video. Um, but if you're into that stuff, keep watching. So let's start with the left hand. So this is from a Joe Chambers track called Mind Rain. And the left hand is based on a root fifth root chord on C sharp. So C sharp is the root and we have root fifth root. It's kind of uh, what it's based on. Root fifth root chords look like this or this. And so the root is C sharp, a fifth above C sharp is G sharp. And then the root C sharp is repeated at the top. C sharp again, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp. It's kind of easier to play than it is to say. Uh, if you're not familiar with root fifth root chords, I'll put another link below this video that'll take you to a tutorial I did on them. Uh, they're really useful and really widely used. So this is what it's based on. Then the thumb in the left hand is playing these three notes. So if we analyze how those three notes fit the chord, Again, the C-sharp is the root, so this is an octave C-sharp, and this D is a semitone above the C-sharp, so that makes it a flat ninth. A tone above C-sharp would be a ninth, so a semitone above C-sharp is a flat ninth. So that's a flat ninth, it's a very dissonant sound. It then goes to the octave C-sharp, and then it goes to the seventh B. So a tone below the octave is a seventh, so that B is a seventh. So the thumb of the left hand is basically going flat ninth, octave, seventh. And then basically all that's happening is we're putting this G sharp in between every other note. So instead of it just being So on the left hand, second finger on the fifth, G sharp is the fifth of the chord, going in between every other note. So now let's move on to the right hand chord, which turns up a few seconds into the track. Um, again, let's analyze this relative to the root. So the root C sharp, it's easy to see what's going on if we move that root up here. So then if you're familiar with your minor triads, Hopefully you can recognize C sharp, E, G sharp as a C sharp minor triad. Uh, if we move it down a semitone, you might recognize C minor a bit more easily. And then you just move each of those notes up a semitone to get C sharp minor. And then on top of this, we repeat the root up an octave and we repeat the third up an octave to get this. So this is a C sharp minor triad in inversion. Uh, I've seen a few tutorials for this track on YouTube, um, just have these three notes, but uh, if you listen to the original recording, you can hear the thirds repeated down an octave as well. So that's just a straight C sharp minor triad, and instead of playing all four notes together, you spread them from bottom to top, and rhythmically, they go just before um, the 5-1 in the left hand, G sharp, C sharp, at the end of the bar. slow it down so those three things all happen one after the other equally spaced uh, now let's go back to this sound which okay I'm playing it on a piano um, I don't know what the original sound is but it comes from a Donald Bird track that DJ Premier layered on top of the Joe Chambers sample and uh, Let's just analyze how this fits the chord. So um, this is on top of a C sharp minor chord. So root third fifth. And then this note is an A sharp. Uh, that's a tone above the fifth. So that's a major sixth. So it produces cumulatively this uh, C sharp minor triad with a major sixth. So it's kind of like minor major sixth chord. 
Um, again, maybe a bit easier to see, analyze it if you move it down a semitone, C minor, and then if you add an A, it becomes C minor six. So this is C sharp minor six. So it kind of makes the harmony even more complex. You already have this like seventh and flat ninth in the left hand, and then you're adding a, a major sixth in the right hand. Well, if you play it on piano on the track. And uh, rhythmically, this coordination is pretty hard to get right if you're playing it on piano. Um, let's split the bar in two. So in the first half of the bar, basically the A sharp in the right hand coincides with the C sharp, the first C sharp in the left hand, and then the next G sharp, and then the G sharp again. So the first half of the bar is more straightforward. These two go together, then the first two G sharps go together with A sharps in the right hands. But then in the second half of the bar, the two hands are completely out of sync. So then the A sharp in the right hand goes halfway between the G sharp and B in the left hand. And then again between this B and the next G sharp. So it's the second half of the bar. So in the first half, that's kind of straightforward, the hands are coming together. And then second half, these A sharps in the right hand are coming halfway between the G sharp and B in the left hand. Uh, that's pretty hard to get just from watching the video. Um, it's much easier to learn that and work out the coordination if uh, you just download the score and, and just look at how the notes line up on the page, that'll tell you you know, which note goes with which in the left hand. Um, so in slow motion, that's... And then at full speed, it sounds like this. That is how you play the riff from Nas's New York State of Mind.